Welcome to Lesson 1, Part 2 of the Adobe Animate Tutorial Series. In this lesson, you will learn how to use the most basic features of a few of the most common drawing tools. You will learn how to select and move an object. And finally, you will draw a basic skateboarder which we will animate in the next video. Let's begin. When you start a new animation, you will often need to change the canvas size. To do this, Look at the Properties panel on the right hand side where it says Size. Change the width and height to suit your animation. Here I am setting my width to 800 and height to 600. You will also notice the canvas is no longer centred. Clicking the Centre Stage button will sort this for you. Also, you can use the Zoom menu to change the level of zoom you are working with, which can be useful when dealing with fiddly bits of drawing or animation. Let's look at our first drawing tool. We're going to use the oval tool. To use it, simply left click and highlight the tool and then left click and drag on the stage until you see a circle. The circle only has a fill colour at the moment. If you want a fill colour and a border colour, I have to set these in the properties on the right hand side as demonstrated here. The pencil indicates the border line, the bucket is the fill colour. If you require a thicker borderline, this can be achieved by using the stroke slider bar or by typing in the exact value into the box. Ensure you play with this feature and check out what the other properties do. Now, to move objects on your canvas, we will use the selection tool. Left clicking on an object and then dragging will allow you to move it. However, when you left click to highlight a circle which has a border around it, only the centre of the circle is selected. In order to select the entire circle, including the border, you have to double left click on the circle. That way it can now be moved as one object. One thing to be careful of though is if you move an object over another object on the same layer, then deselect it, it will actually draw over the bottom image, much like any bitmap drawing program. So as you can see here, the circle, once deselected, has deleted the black outline of the circle behind it. Now let's have a look at our first freehand drawing tool, simply called the paintbrush tool. This tool allows you to paint on the canvas in dashed lines, which when you release the mouse, will form into solid lines by default. You will notice that the lines smooth themselves. This is a feature of all the main brushes and again, all the options are in the Properties panel, such as Colour and Stroke Thickness. Have a play with this tool and see what you can do with it. Again, remember to play with the properties and see what they do. Our next tool is called the Brush Tool. This tool works in a similar way to the Paintbrush tool, but has a slightly different properties to tweak. Ensure you play with the properties and discover what they do. Here you can see smoothing in action again. To adjust the smoothing, you need to change the value in the properties box. The lower the value, the less the smoothing is applied, as you can see here. Now with a zero value, no smoothing is happening at all. But if you increase this, it will give a nicer effect. It is now time to get prepared for our next lesson. By the end of this section, you should have drawn a basic skateboarder like I'm about to show you now. Unfortunately, my drawing skills are shockingly bad, so I expect you can probably do better than me. Thanks for watching this section, and I will see you in the next video.